I'm painting a stormy ocean seascape today and I want to limit myself to two colors, so blue and red, of course with black and white to get all those different tones. But limiting the palette, I feel, helps me personally keep um, uniformity and helps me not get too overwhelmed with colors. So I just want to try that out today. Not gonna talk much, I'm just gonna let you watch me paint and see if it can inspire you and I'll talk to you after. I like where I'm at so far. The only thing I'm not sure about is the sky. My nemesis. <laughs> I haven't found a way to create expressive um, clouds without it being messy or too overwhelming in the composition. I could be sitting here and really paint realistic clouds but that's not what I want. I want to keep it like more expressive and spontaneous. But 
now it doesn't look like that it looks overwhelming messy and it distracts from the ocean i find instead of fighting the painting and fighting with my clouds in the sky i think i'm just gonna remove them and keep a sky super minimal and the, it could be a mistake totally i could be making it worse than it is now but it's going to be informative we'll see the before and after and you can tell me what you think if you preferred the messy clouds or the super minimal painting i want to try it let's be bold What are your thoughts? Do you prefer with the big clouds or with the more minimal sky? I have no idea. I'll have to let it simmer and think about it. I did enjoy having a limited color palette. I think for me that's the way to go. Just build two more colors. Start with a limited color palette. I enjoyed that. Part of the challenge was also to do this very spontaneously and very fast. So I did it in about an hour. I hope it inspires you to try your own spontaneous painting. If you want more inspiration, you can watch this one and I'll see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching.